Episode three. up and I have this like terrible cough I can't breathe shortness of breath uh, and it's been like getting worse and worse over the past six months the doctor so they gave me these two inhalers this one is called Ventolin there's only like seven bucks and you're supposed to use this one when it's like an emergency, like when you need it, you have shortness of breath, you just use it. This one is called q -bar. This one's preventative, so you do it twice in the morning and twice before you go to bed. The problem with this one, which I just found out, it's got steroids in it. So if you stop using it, then it could cause more problems. The problem with this one is that it's really expensive and insurance doesn't cover it. It's like 180 bucks so Christina just went online and found out that there's a ton of other ones that they could have prescribed me that were like just as cheap as this one like seven bucks so I don't know what it is or why I've been to three different doctors tomorrow I have another appointment doctor number four I don't know why I can't get at the very least inhalers that are affordable so every time I go to a doctor, it costs me 60 bucks. The last doctor I went to, she literally said, I don't know. When I said, so what's the problem? What do you think it is? Why is it that I wake up every morning and I can't breathe? And why is it that when I go to bed at night, when I lay down, I can't breathe? My wife says that when in the middle of the night, if she wakes up, it sounds like I stop breathing. So it's getting worse. I think maybe because I stopped taking this one because I couldn't afford it. I stopped taking this one and maybe that added to the problem. It has steroids in it. And I guess when you just stop taking it or when your body gets used to it and then you stop taking it, it could cause other problems. I just think this whole thing is shitty. Today is when the, like, the very first customer that found us on Yelp is coming in today. So I'm excited to... Uh, I'm a little nervous because the space is small. It's not like that big studio we had. People came in that one and were like, oh my God, this place must be amazing. Now they're walking into a place that's like the size of our bathroom. But it's not the space, you know, that sells the service. It's supposed to be us. So hopefully it works out. But it is what it is. Like there's no pressure there. Um, we offer a good service. We're good people. They get good service. What else can you do? And it's cheap. It's definitely more affordable than these fucking inhalers. So we got some big stuff happening today. Uh, today at 1.30, the girl, let me start that over. Big stuff happening today. So at 1.30, uh, this girl, her name is Stephanie, is coming by. I think she found us on Yelp. I'm not sure, but this is the first customer that doesn't really know us. That's just finding out about our company for the first time that's coming here. Uh, but first at 12.30, I have a call with Fran Nichols, who is also a brand new member, who we've never met before. That's what my day's looking like so far. Oh, and I gotta build these shelves. I'm not really into buying things that I can make myself. Now, I'm not like the most handiest person, but I can build some stuff. I'm pretty creative. So I went to Home Depot, had some wood cut into shelf-like shape pieces. This is like a shelf. And then I bought some brackets. So I'm just gonna hang these up and put stuff on them.
I'm thinking like right there. Or maybe like this, and then I can use that end piece right there. I can use as kind of an, like a bookend. This way shit doesn't fall off. So for lunch today, I brought a bag of roast beef. I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to better my diet in some way. I know a bag of roast beef probably isn't the best way to do that, but I'm trying to cut out bread. So I've been running about three miles a day. That's pretty decent. And then on top of jogging, I jump rope for about 20 minutes, half hour. And then I hit the bag for about a half hour. So I am getting a pretty good workout every day. The next step is my diet. I'm not 100% sure how best to eat healthy. I mean, I read some things are good for you, other things are bad for you. No GMO, HMO, DMO. I, I don't know what all the O's are, but I know a bag of roast beef probably isn't in the category of health. And neither is sweet tea from 7-Eleven or a jar of peanut butter from Trader Joe's. Chunky, no sugar, peanut butter spread. It contains 90% peanuts. So I'm assuming peanuts are still good for you. I don't know anymore. I think I'm going to hold off on the roast beef till later. Yeah. Oh. Let's put the light on. That's better. So it's about 4 o'clock. The day really got away from me. I had uh, a meeting scheduled at 1.30, um, which got rescheduled. But then I had a great conversation with uh, Fran Nichols, who is fantastic. I've never in my life used the word fantastic, but I can't wait to meet her. She's awesome. Uh, she found out about TCD from... <sighs> so Christina shared a video that we made in this Facebook group, like SAG Moms. Something like SAG Moms Facebook group. And she saw it. And she just happened to be thinking about uh, finding more time or a resource so that she can practice her auditioning on camera. So just perfect timing that she saw the video and she signed up. So today was the first day that I got to talk to her. And she sounds awesome. She sounds excited, which, you know, it's like when somebody's excited about what you do, you're obviously going to do... You know, yeah, I can just sit on the step. Uh, what else did I do today? I got that shelf put up. Looks decent. Here. Right there. I have, uh, I have three more of them. I know the microphone's in a shot, but who gives a shit? So this is episode number three. I don't want them to be, like, too produced. I want them to be kind of raw and gritty and just an honest representation of what my day is like. Today, I did a few things. Um, stuff that I didn't record. Um, I wrote out an email to all of our clients. I didn't send it yet. I'm going to send it tonight. But I wrote out an email just basically welcoming everybody and talking about the marketing services that we offer. There's no extra cost. Um, the practice auditions, people come to that. The self-tapes, obviously. But uh, on the calendar, we have... A writer's room and that writer's room is basically um it's not just a writer's room you know it's like you should be coming up with ideas for yourself and everybody always has the same concerns when they're shooting content for themselves they're wondering about like the quality yeah quality is important and but if the sound recorder is in the shot who cares if i put it back here it doesn't really matter. And I read all these articles from these, like, you know, experts in our, like, you know, people that I guess you'd call them influencers, like casting directors, agents, managers, um, some coaches. There's some, like, marketing people now. Uh, you know, I guess you would call those, you know, like, influencers in this industry. I'm certainly not one of those influencers. I'm like you. I'm just trying to figure out how best to showcase who I am and what I do. Same thing you guys are doing. So there's no like expert environment here. You know, it is subjective. 100% like what you like, somebody else might not. And what cast and directors like, managers might not like and vice versa. There's always going to be a difference of opinion on what you should be doing for yourself. I get that. But in the one, the one area that I just... I can't get on board with how I define quality is the time and effort put into something. Every video that I put out 
I put a lot of work into. This video that you're watching now was probably a total of 12 hours. I'm doing one of these every day for 100 days. So 12 hours of my day is dedicated to doing this. The sound might be a little off in some of them, or you know, you might see the microphone. The lighting might be off in some spots. The camera might be shaky in certain areas. To me, that's not low quality. If I see an actor's demo reel and the sound is a little off, the camera's shaky, it just looks, you know, what some would consider low quality. I don't look at that as low quality. I look at that as someone who put a lot of time and effort. They did whatever it took to get that video produced. So to me, that's a high quality project. When a lot of time and effort goes into something, I look at that as high quality. I just don't think it's fair and I don't think it's reasonable for an industry person or an influencer in this industry to look past an actor's demo reel because of the low budget or because the technical aspects aren't perfect. That's just a lack of resources. And to me, that person should be commended or it should be considered even more that they took the time to produce and figured out a way around all these things. Whether that helps you or not, I don't fucking know. But all I know is that I make these videos. I make these for me.